Hey, I'm Dr. Gardner, and today I wanted to talk about mitral valve disease in dogs. It is the most common diagnosed acquired heart disease in dogs, so the good news is we do know a lot about it. It is progressive, we can't cure it, but we can manage it. And what happens is the mitral valve is on the left side of the heart, and so we have the atrium, and then you have the mitral valve, and then you have the ventricle. And if that valve is not working properly, it gets kind of thickened and not, not doing its job anymore, then what can happen is the blood that's in the ventricle can backflow it can go back into the atrium and all the way back into the lungs and that causes a lot of symptoms like exercise intolerance because the blood's not getting where it needs to go coughing at night uh, and they can develop pulmonary edema where there's fluid on the lungs and then some dogs especially in the early stages are totally asymptomatic Sometimes I will catch a murmur on the annual physical exam, which is why that is so important. And if it's a dog that is either symptomatic or it's an at-risk breed or the murmur is really significant, then sometimes we'll move forward with diagnostics, be chest x-rays to look at the size and the shape of the heart and also look at the health of the lungs. I would also do a blood test called a ProBNP. That is a blood test that measures stress on the heart muscle. And then I would also consider doing a blood pressure and routine blood work like a CBC and a chemistry to see if there's any comorbidities that are happening at the same time that we might need to manage. We would refer to a cardiologist. The cardiologist can perform an echocardiogram and that can give us so much information and really help guide treatment. And it will also stage the mitral valve disease. So we have great consensus paper that was written on all of the stages of mitral valve disease. I will put a description or a link to the description. I will put a link in the description below and you can check that out if you want. Depending on the stage of mitral valve disease your dog is in, they may be treated or they might not. And treatment usually involves something like pemobendin. It will involve ACE inhibitors sometimes. Sometimes we will use diuretics like Lasix or furosemide and other things like that. A low salt diet is typically recommended. And then you wanna really monitor their protein intake. You also wanna be careful with exercise and know what their limits are. And that's where the cardiologist can really help guide things. And then there are also some herbal things. There's definitely some traditional Chinese medicine herbs that can be really supportive. Western herbs like hawthorn berry can be great, but you really need to have a vet's input on that so that you can put it all together. Heart disease is a very complicated issue and there are many stages involved. So I hope that that helps you understand mitral valve disease a little bit better. And I welcome any questions or comments. If you have a dog that's been diagnosed with heart disease, I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time.